Hey, hey, how's it going? Uh, welcome back to another stream. Um, yeah, I'm actually quite excited to play this game, Tango Tower. Uh, <laughs> it has been... I guess this game has come out for quite a while, but I didn't want to touch it before I played Detective Grimoire on the channel, so I've waited quite a long time, to be honest. And um, yeah, I have totally no clue what this game is going to be like. I just know that it's the uh, sequel, question mark. At least it's gonna be in the same universe, I think. But I'm not 100% sure on this. Um, yeah, uh, I guess let's just start the game. So let me get that audio on. Let me know if it's too loud or too soft or whatever. And I guess let's just play it. Sally? Who's Sally? <laughs> Grimoire, I've been standing here for seven and a half minutes. Just checking. Okay. Do you have the map? Uh, yeah, but it's basically blank. Did you read the case file? What do you think? I'm not sure yet. It's really not a lot to go on. Did you read it? Yeah, I'll read it on the way to the crime scene. Okay, off to a good start, I guess? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> the cave's file is right behind me. Um... Should I... Make the screen smaller? Hmm... Um, never mind, I'll just leave it like that. Oh... Okay, murder victim, Freya Fellow. I guess this means 19 years old. Died whilst painting a portrait of Flora Fellow, 58. Okay, right. 19 years old. Location Flora's tower. Flora was present as she was posing for a portrait. Freya Fellow was found lying on her back with a single step wound on her chest. On her chest? No weapon was found at the scene, but the subject of Freya's unfinished painting is holding a knife. The red color on the tip of the knife is not paint, it was discovered to be blood. Huh. That seems like a pretty clear case, but. I don't think it's that simple. If it was, there wouldn't be a game, right? <laughs> okay. Um, Tango Tower. So this is actually the name of the place, I think. Okay. A small painting on a scrap of paper, a few notes have been written on the back. Nowadays it goes by Tango Tower, but it's actually a pair of towers connected by a mansion at the base. Alright. It is surrounded by a circular lake. The water is an unusual mix of colours. The lake is enclosed by sheer pale cliffs. They are too steep and smooth to climb. Tanker Tower is currently home to both the Fellow family and the Pointer family. Hmm. Okay. So there's not many suspects, I would assume. It's either a domestic matter 
which is one which is like one of the fellows or a or someone from the pointed family Freya uh-huh okay how was Freya killed okay we've got notes here um right okay I guess oh here I cannot believe how exciting this murder investigation is already <laughs> okay that's a big lake it's kind of purple looks poisonous I think it's just water yeah water with poison in it <laughs> I guess that's a fair point I mean why is the lake such a weird color that's a big lake okay yeah. yep 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 it. it's a bird bath is that just rainwater looks a little weird the birds seem to like it they're even singing a little tune tune are you sure that's the tune Please don't do that <laughs> okay um i it's a garden i think it's currently far away uh, we could walk closer to it ready when you are okay um right wow this is a big map i think yeah at least it's different from the previous game it's a stone carving wonder how it got cracked i think it's supposed to look like that it's an egg so uh, the game just dropped me into this without explaining who sally is i would assume that they are she is a um i wouldn't call her a sidekick though she seems to be smarter than me what animal is that griffin hawk bear lizard okay right of course <laughs> a hawk bear lizard Yep, that exists in the world, no problem. It's full of the same weird water that was in the lake. Any fish in there? Not a single one. Although there is something in there. It's a cassette tape. Or it used to be. Ooh. Damage tape. The cassette tape has been damaged by water. The ink on the label is blurred and illegible. Illegible? Hmm in the gardens all right okay so right Spooky. i'm learning what do you think it's for no idea actually i think it's to scare away detectives is it working no <laughs> uh this kind of looks like a hidden passage way right i guess not it's full of the same weird Any fish not okay a it's a cassette tape. right, right. to be okay that's a bit weird like i've already gotten the evidence so i had expected it to just like you know not repeat the whole thing but eh. it's a statue of some hideous scaly bipedal fish monster playing a harp playing a harp playing a harp hang on a second oh this isn't just a regular statue is it Something tells me we're not going to solve this just yet. Yep. Yep, okay. We don't have the clues. Let's come back later. Okay. So it's good to it know that that's there. Something. You'd hope so, wouldn't you? Old weather statue. Weathered statue of an amphibious creature holding a large harp. Symbols are engraved. Okay. I guess opening this or solving this would open this thingy. <laughs> so yeah. So Do the plants all look a little strange to you? Whoops. Skipped. 
Uh, sorry about skipping your lines, detective, but you... I'm honestly not interested in what you're gonna say. It's a bandstand. It's small for a bandstand. It's a one-man bandstand. Okay. It's quiet. Mm-hmm. You're supposed to say, too quiet? It's not. It's an appropriate amount of quiet. Well, there is music playing, so I don't know about quiet. This is some garden. Do the plants all look a little strange to you? Okay, so that's mm, all right. Do I move? Yes, I do. Okay. Main entrance. Tangle. <laughs> Tour? That leads back to the gardens. Which one do you think came first? The tree or the house? The tree? The age old question. This is kind of odd though, like being chopped that much. Which one do you think came first? The age old question. Looks like someone tried Can to you blame them? Oh, okay. Let me do that again. Looks like someone tried to chop it down but then gave up. Right. I wonder I wonder when they gave up. That's when they decide to build a house here. Can you blame them? Or if the house came first and the tree just grew over it. That's why they tried to chop it down but didn't. Mm. Oh, just noticed this. Is that an envelope? It's been opened, but the letter's still in there. That is weird. Let's read it. Okay. Isn't that an invasion of someone's privacy? Well, if it's out here, I mean, it's considered trash, right? No, definitely. Uh, letter has been ripped open. Letter has been ripped open. Envelope has been ripped open. Single piece of paper. Combination is drawn on the other sheet. Once you have it memorized, destroy it. I do not agree with your reasons. You will not find it down there. Is it talking about the statue? Wait, where's the other sheet? I guess I do this? No. Do this? No. Eh? Oh, single sheet. Single piece. I see. So I don't have the other piece. Okay, okay, okay. What is this? Oh. There's an O on the floor. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Tangle tour. Tour. I can't fix it, I guess. Little bird feeders. How do you know they're for birds? True, but I I guess context wise. <laughs> do you think he'll start mm. to move if we try to go inside? No. I think he'll just silently judge us. Do you think he'll start to move? No. Okay. I think he'll just. It's red, but I don't think it's painted. It's just red. Should we ring the doorbell? Why would we not? That's a nice doorbell. It's a little melody. It's red, but I don't. It's just red. I think I've... A path leading towards the stone square. Okay. Should I check out the stone square first then? Yeah. Before I go into the house. Let's do that. Let's head to the oh, at okay. the top of the west tower, I think. West tower. This tower then. Alright. Looks like I got to go in. Wow, this is a pretty grand hall. <laughs> ah, fellow and pointer. Fellow pointer. Pointer fellow? Hmm. What is that? I think it's a family tree. Right. Lord Remington, Lady Remington. So there's... Flora Remington, Richard Remington, and Primrose Remington. 
Ah, so the sisters married to Fellow and Pointer. Felix Fellow and Percival Pointer. Okay. Lord Fellow, Lady Fellow, Flint and Felix. Uh, Selena, Stone Top. I guess this is. Eh? Oh, maybe a previous um, relationship. So these are the kids. Oh no, not kids. So this is the half sister of these two, right? Damien Dusk, Lynn Fellow. Yeah. So there's right the previous marriage, I guess. So the. Victim is someone of the previous marriage. And then this one is... Okay, so this is the... Um... Fiona... This one has a... Oh no, it's not a previous marriage. This one is married to this one. Pandora and Penelope. This is the. This two is the link, I guess. Poppy. So this one, this two is the so called quote, quote unquote main branch of the Remington family? No, it's not main branch. Oh, I guess me. I don't know. Um, because it's the females, the male doesn't have anything. I guess you can call it the main branch still. I don't know. I don't know how it how this would work in this universe. Right. That's a big glass tube filled with water. There are weeds in there, and sand. It's an aquarium. Could be. Except there's nothing living in it anymore. Mm. Finally, we get to investigate a murder in a spooky mansion. <laughs> it's not that spooky, really. Don't ruin this. Finally. Okay. Don't ruin this. Um. How about this? Sally, check those plants for clues. Is soil a clue? Sally, check those plants. Okay. Is soil a clue? It's not locked. A door. Oh, what's behind it? A room. Right. I guess we just... A big letter F. Go up. Of course. Who doesn't hang a giant banner of their initial in the lobby of their mansion? This one has a big P. That's P... probably important. How very <laughs> P-ceptive of you. Nice comeback. Okay. Stairs. Right, so... I guess I can't investigate anything else before I go to the crime scene. So let's just go to the crime scene first. Just to get our bearings, I suppose. Oh wow. Oh, this is the uh ha. Huh. So the knife is painted in. Hmm. Let's take a look at that painting first. Alright, fine. There it is. The unfinished portrait of Flora Fellow. Okay. So, what? Freya was killed halfway through painting it. Looks that way. Unable to finish the painting, died sometime during the process. Appears to be wielding a knife. The red substance on the tip was discovered to be blood. 
so it's actual blood on the prop. I assume it's like an animal's blood or something and not exactly Freya's blood. Hmm. I wonder if Ooh. all of Freya's paintings are this creepy. Maybe it's just because she never got to finish it. There's something wrong with the crime scene. And something really weird about the murder weapon. We didn't find a murder weapon. There's something very strange about- okay. Hmm. Used to knocked out holding a knife tip with. Removed from the crime scene. Because Freya put it there. Huh? It stabbed Freya. Stole it. Removed from the crime scene. Paint palette? Uh, red paint was used to knock out. Holding a knife tipped with blood. Laura Fellow is holding a knife tipped with blood, but it was removed from the crime scene. This kind of sounds right to me. Flora Fellow is holding a knife tipped with blood, but it was removed from the scene. Nope. Ah, okay. Uh, was the painting somehow involved in the attack on Freya? Laura's portrait is holding a knife tipped with blood. Oh, this? Flora's portrait is holding a knife tipped with blood, but it was removed from the scene. Almost. Maybe just change one thing. But was the painting somehow? Uh. Change one thing. It's tipped. It's holding a knife tipped with blood because Freya put it there. Because it stabbed Freya? Huh? Flora's portrait is holding a knife tipped with blood because it stabbed Freya. What? Weird, huh? You think Freya was stabbed by a painting. Not by the woman from the painting, but by the painting itself. Mm-hmm. Freya was oh. standing right up by the canvas when she was killed. There's blood on the knife. It's the murder weapon. Right, but it's not actually a knife. It can't stab. See any other knives around here? Case closed. The case is not closed. <laughs> Even if you were right, where does that leave us? A painting can't be a murder suspect. Oh, okay. An unfinished painting. I see. Is that is that a chapter done? Oh, that's a chapter beginning. I suppose it's a chapter beginning. The outline of Freya Fellow looks like she fell onto her back. That makes sense though, because it's a step on the chest. There's no other way that she would be stabbed on the chest unless there's a fight? Oh, but she fell this way. Mm, 
so I guess that's why the painting is so called the prime suspect. There's a single patch of blood right in the middle. No real signs of a struggle. That's weird. What? Her feet were right up by the canvas. So? So she was probably standing really close to the canvas when she fell. Right. Let's check the case file again. Right. Yeah. Okay. Freya's painting supplies. Small glass pots of red, yellow, blue, black, and white paint. Glass pots are all cracked down one side. Huh. Why do? Freya's painting supplies. Oh, okay. I guess. Yep, fine. Is that a gramophone? I think so. Except it's got a tape deck instead of a turntable. It's also got a big crack down the middle. Huh. What's with all their items and having a big crack down the middle? What about the cassette tape? Yeah, it sure is. I think. Freya also has a crack. Hmm. I guess I can't use the gramophone to listen? Do you think it still works? The gramophone? Eh, we could give it a go. Try it. Ooh, I wonder if I can play it. Ah, oh, it can still be used to listen. Okay. It's piano music. It plays for a short while before stopping. Okay. Ooh, Freya. So it isn't really a message message, but it's a... It's... Oh, I thought I heard like some voices, but I don't think it was. Huh. Should I listen to it all the way to the end? I suppose I should. I don't really recognize the music though. Kinda sounds nice though. Makes it <laughs> that makes it such a different uh mood. Let's try this. Hopefully it works. <laughs> I was concentrating so much on Wait, someone's singing. Right? I was concentrating so much on it that this this dot 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 scared me. Weird. It's someone humming a tune. Indeed. So why was it trashed? Hmm. Okay. A bunch of old books, covered in dust now, but they look well read. All right. It's so dark back there. Somehow the sunlight doesn't seem to be making it very far into the room. I guess we talk to her that now. It was a big open window. I don't know if you can call it an open window. It's more like the sudden absence of wall. 
<laughs> Good point. Oh wow, she is scary. Laura. Hello. Ooh. Hey, sorry to barge in. I'm sure you're still in some distress. We need to ask you a few questions, I'm afraid. Did you witness the murder, Flora? Nothing. What do we do? <laughs> <laughs> She's entitled to her silence, I suppose. For now. Um, I wonder if I can even get anything from her. Is there anything you'd like to tell us, Flora? Wow, that about you at all. I think that's the way she likes it. We'll just have to ask other people about her. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh Freya was painting your portrait yesterday. Is that right? <laughs> was this something you had planned with her ahead of time? Was there something special about yesterday? Did you talk to Freya at all while she was painting you? <laughs> She's not going to answer us, is she? Nope. Yep. But Looks at least that we way. Say we tried. Yeah, true. We did try. Oh, statement. Oh. I wonder if. Uh, let's just try anyway. Flora, you were definitely in the room at the time of the murder. Surely you must have seen something. Can you tell me anything about what happened to Freya? <gasps> oh, yeah, animation. She's pretty suspicious, if you ask me. I don't know. Maybe she really doesn't know anything. How is that possible? Okay, and I didn't unlock anything. Well, how do you unlock it when she's silent, right? So I guess we have to go elsewhere first before we get any sort of reaction? Question mark. Okay, uh, let's see. Hmm. Maybe we just work our way down then. Oh. Hope you didn't hear that. <laughs> Bumped my mouse into the keyboard. Okay, workshop. Huh. That's a cool lamp. Lantern. Light. Buffer fish? Yes. It's also a lamp. For some reason. Lamp. Okay. You get a good view of the lake from here. A little hand-painted statue. How can you tell it's hand-painted? Well, the paints are right there on the desk. <laughs> Detective Grimoire, please. Also, I mean, no offense, but you can just tell. Oh, okay. Wood wooden carving of a man holding a sword. Sword? Sword? The model has been hand-painted, but the paint is not skillfully applied. Okay. No cracks on the bottles. So, something happened in the room. I guess something supernatural happened in the room that made everything in there just have a crack right down the middle? Hmm... So far, things do point to a supernatural sort of element in this universe. But I wonder if it's just like a smart twist, you know? Like they make it seem supernatural, but actually there's a reason or logic behind it. The entire room is made of wood. Oh, it's not just made of wood. I think it's the actual hull of a ship. How did they get? the ship up here. It's a barometer, but it's broken. I've never seen a barometer that wasn't broken. A hammock. It's kind of worn out. I would politely describe it as <laughs> I suppose. Um. That's a massive conch shell. Conch shell? So that's how you pronounce that. Conch shell? Do you think this little crab living inside Probably not. I hope so. <laughs> okay. Lamp? It's a magic lamp. Can we summon the genie? 
If we get really stuck, sure. Mm, okay. It's Earth. If Earth was made of paper and gave off a gentle pink light. Nice. A real treasure chest. How do you know there's treasure in there? Why else would it be locked? Good point. Plus, there's a treasure map hanging directly above it. Look closer. Oh. What's the deal with that painting on the front? Not sure. We should check that treasure map too. I see. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wait. I guess it's this one. Because there's an X and this two there. So, right? So, is it. Wait. Huh? H tree, I four, and J tree? But. It's not all of the letters, so... Oh, this is... Huh. Oh, I guess this. I4. Wait, but... Huh? North, South, East, West. Is it West? West? Wait, what? I mean South. Is there an I? There is. Is there a 4? There is. Oh, but it doesn't seem like that worked. Huh. I guess let's try all of this combination. Nope. Okay, so I didn't get the right one. Or am I on this and I have to go there? Here. So that will mean I2? North? Is there a two? There is. Oh, it doesn't work though. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I am not getting this at all. There is no starting point that I can see. Unless I'm the ship, but there's another ship here, so... Could it be this one? Oh, but then there's- no, it should be this one though. Oh wait, I3? Right in the middle? But it's- it, it looks like I'm on this though. Nope. Okay, let's get a hint. Nothing. Did you check the treasure map for clues? And what about that painting on the chest itself? Oh. Oh, I guess... Uh... <laughs> hmm... Still locked. I think there's a connection between the painting and I the know, treasure map. I know, but <laughs> how do you read the treasure like map? Different versions of the same thing, maybe? Different versions of the same thing. What do you mean by that? Um, there's three of this as well. I'm just clueless about the combination here. That was the padlock has three different inputs. A letter, a number, and a compass direction. I do know that. Reference for the map. Yes, I do know that. That was The padlock has three yes. different grid reference for the map. I just don't that know the... The padlock is just a grid reference for the map. That was the okay. Just a grid reference for the map. 
I'm I'm just going to sort of brute force that this, I suppose. Because I don't know. That was just a Okay. Hmm. It's not in the middle here. I feel like it's I4 though, but all of the combinations didn't work. It's not I3. Do I... Oh man. That was oh, okay. Whoops. Um, <laughs> I can't believe I'm having so much trouble reading this. Um, should I try? I guess I could try. No, wait, this H. It's tree, right? Yeah, it's tree. West? That was the no. Is just a grid reference for the map. Um East J tree East That was the padlock is just a grid reference for the map. Hmm I two I two North That was the padlock is just a grid reference for the map. That was the padlock is just a grid reference. That was the pad just a good reference. That was the pad just a good reference. Hey, it's not that. Could it could it be something else though? I don't think there's any other combinations that is similar to the one on the picture. It has to be this. So how do I it's I for self? But I've tried that. that. Was the pad mm. is just a good reference for the map. Oh man, I'm annoyed. I don't think I can figure this out. Because I don't exactly know where... Where they want me to... This is the next. Is it asking me for the middle one? But if it's the middle one, because my right now my thinking is this is north, south, east, and west. So if it wants something in the middle, which direction would it be, right? Uh, could it be this one? Because it's sort of similar. Oh. The, 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 the or orientation of it is a bit different though. E tree. Is there an E tree? Is there an E? There is. Uh, wait, but the directions would be off though. Hmm. I guess let's try all directions. That was the padlock is just a grid reference for the map. That was the padlock just a grid reference. That was the padlock just a grid reference. For the map. That was the just a grid reference for the map. Nope, not it at all. Because this one kind of looks closer to this X, right? There's two birds. That's the bird. There are two birds. Two birds. Uh. There's a tree. Oh man, this is annoying me. Maybe I sh I'll come back. Yep. 
Let's talk to you. Hello. Sir? Can you hear me? I'm Private Detective Grimoire. I have some questions for you. Grimoire. Good mysterious name. <laughs> I'd rather like it. Felix Fellow at your beck and call. And, uh, this is my colleague, Sally. Yeah, that's a perfectly good name as well. <laughs> if you would, Mr. Fellow, we really need to ask you about the murder. I must say, I'm rather jealous of you two. Oh, yeah? Why is that? Out here solving mysteries, <laughs> exploring new places, uncovering secret rooms, hidden treasures. That's what life is all about. Secret rooms? Uh, generally speaking, you know, that sort of thing. So there are secret rooms here. Interesting. So, Felix, what exactly do you uh, do? Is it not obvious? I'm an explorer. Explorer slash treasure hunter. Okay. Well, best in the world. We're talking like curse statues, spike pits. Uh, it's a little more sophisticated than that. But I've certainly seen my share of danger, if that's what you're asking. And, uh, if I may ask, uh, when did you retire? Uh, you listen here. <laughs> I may be between ventures right now, but it's simply not in my nature to stay in one place for too long. I go wherever the winds of destiny take me. Don't you live here with your wife and daughter? Yes, well, it's in the fellow family has certain loyalties, and with the uh, flora the way she is, and... Nothing wrong with raising a family, Mr. Fellow. <clears throat> Don't misunderstand me. Fiona and Flora are my entire world. They are the greatest treasure of all. Uh-huh. Fiona and Flora... Huh? I totally forgot the family tree. No, I don't have that in my... Fiona and Flora. Wait. So he's married to Flora? So I guess Fiona is the kid. Which I've yet to meet yet. Oh, hang on. I'm not done with you. Why on earth would you want to know about that? The murder of Freya Fellow. The reason we're here. Ah, right. Uh, nasty business. Uh, uh, very unfortunate. <clears throat> I, I regret that I can't be of any help. Uh, but I wish you all the best in your investigation. Hear that, Grimoire? We're done here. Let's go. It's a simple question, Felix. Well, I'm sure you're up to it. I just... it's... well, there's not much to tell. Uh, mostly, I was in my room by myself, uh, working on Flora's... Uh, working uh, on a project. <laughs> Your room is quite close to Flora's tower. You didn't hear anything unusual? What qualifies as unusual? What have you got? Uh, okay, so he knows something, or... I guess not sure about something maybe he heard something weird but don't know if it's unusual mm. it was dusk a feeling <laughs> lingered in the air malevolent perhaps uncertain <laughs> as life itself abridged version please right <laughs> I heard someone heading down the stairs, just outside my room. The footsteps were calm, orderly, so I thought nothing of it. Shortly afterward, I heard a second set of footsteps going the same way. This time I could tell just from the sound that something was wrong. So I looked out into the hallway. I got a glimpse of Poppy disappearing down the staircase to the floor below. I didn't know what to make of it, to be honest. I thought perhaps she'd had a disagreement with Fitz, as I know those two are close. So 
I looked into his room, uh, just in case, uh, but it was empty, as was the garden beyond his window. Back in the hallway, I bumped into a very concerned-looking Penelope. She was heading up Fellow Tower to find Professor Pointer, so I escorted her. We went into Flora's room. Poor Freya was laying on the floor. Fiona, Poppy, Pitts, and Pointer were there already. Flora, too, of course. <laughs> Soon enough, everyone else made their excuses and left. Including you? Not I. <laughs> I stayed. Flora needed me. Ah. Huh. So, Poppy was up there. Unless... Unless the first foot... Oh, but then how did Poppy get up there? If there was no returning footstep up. Because he said that... He said that this... After a while, the second footstep appeared, right? Hmm... Okay. I guess let's just... Oh, okay. Yes, let's just move down and then go this way up and there. Freya's room. Who's Freya again? It's a little glass box. I think it's a vivarium. Vivarium? What's that? Again. See the leaves and twigs in there? Might have been for keeping insects. Oh. Not the kind of lamp I choose for my bedroom, but fair enough. It's cool. Looks like old mining equipment or something. Do you think this was always supposed to be a bedroom? No, I don't think so. I don't know. It is kind of a weird shape. Mm hmm. No windows either. Freya's plants. They must not need sunlight? Big plants, maybe? There's no natural light in here at all. Because no natural I light, like right? Drawings taped up on the wall. What's that one on the left? Looks like two people standing together in the garden. One of them's holding a red rose. Oh. Drawing of a young woman, a drawing of a person wearing a cloak. Is this Poppy? Secret... Secret rendezvous? I can't see what's this one. Okay. That's fine. A pillow with a paw print pattern. It's a cushion. Yeah, but that doesn't alliterate. Even though we're halfway up a tower, someone's been tracking in mud from outside. Yeah. Do you think this was always supposed to be? Okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. That painting is really something. Why would you want it looming over your bed like that? Good point. Maybe Frey enjoy the atmosphere it creates. Maybe. It's kind of creepy, though. The atmosphere of chaos and oppression? Hang on. There is a smaller version down by the floor. It's there is? Oh, photograph. this one? Photograph? Piece of uh, lines must lines have been drawn with black ink around the edges. Oh. Okay. <laughs> the background music in this. It's a little wooden box for paintbrushes. To the casual observer, maybe. Oh. They're not real paintbrushes. Looks like they're part of some kind of lock mechanism. Huh. All right, more puzzles. Swap the brushes. Brushes? Swap the brushes into the correct order. Arrange the paper to find a clue. Okay. I guess. No, I was just gonna say let's find the corners, but there's a corner here and there's a corner here.
Whoa. Oh, wait. Hang on. This. Okay. Um. Need to straight edge to This has got to be here. This is here. Some oh, there we go, there we go. Okay. Right. Huh. <laughs> what? Uh what? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Green and blue. Small. Large. Pink. Orange. Is that's not orange though, right? Wait, that's. Um. That's some. Um, Oops. Wow, my brain is not working today. This is like the second puzzle that I'm like so confused about. Three. These are not real paintbrushes, so I can't mix the colors. <laughs> wow, okay. Green. Orange something pink. One, two, three, four. Oh, one, two. No, wait, that's. There's no four, though. One, two, three, four? No, it can't go up. That's not orange. Uh, three, one, two, three. Hmm. This doesn't reach there. Yeah, the greens don't reach up here. So... Nothing. Did you find a hint on those scraps of paper? Nope. The scraps of paper is not helping me at all. Ripped up jigsaw puzzle. Okay. Yeah. Each brush has various characteristics. Height, bristle shape, paint color, handle color. Oh, handle color. Oh. The information we need is on the paper. Once it's been rearranged, I mean. I see. It's pink. And then this shape. It's blue. Okay, so if this has got to be green then, right? This shape is here. The shape is there. No, no, not the shape. The, the color. And this shape is here. Unless... Unless... It's orange though. So it could be... It could be different. This has got to be blue. There we go. Oh, hey, nice. Perfect. Perfect indeed. What was in the box? Just a photograph. Well, most of a photograph. Oh. 
Hmm, I wonder who's being cut out. One with red hair, the other with green hair. Is that green? I thought that looked yellow. Eh? Tell me if it's uh <laughs> green to you or is this yellow? Because this looks yellow to me. Uh photo has a large piece missing. It seems to have been ripped off, alright. Do you think this was always I don't know. Okay, no, no, no. It's a fish, I think. I think it looks more like a whale. Fine, eh. it's a whale. Okay. Could also be a shark. Right. Brushes, pencils. They're clean, but they look pretty well used. So she is a painter of some sort, I guess. Freya's bear. Looks pretty depressed. <laughs> True. He's had a rough couple of days. Do you think this was all okay? No, either. Just little trinkets. Let's leave them alone. Fair enough. Um, I guess this would also elicit the same uh reaction. That's weird. What did you find in the drawers? Nothing. They're completely empty. Oh, that is weird. Nothing in the drawers at all. Do you think this was all? Oh, know. okay. No. I thought, I thought this kind of looked like a secret thingy, but I guess not. All right, I assumed I finish checking out everything in here. I guess I can come back, but let's move on to the next area. Library. Ooh. Books about ancient history, I think. These books are ancient history. <laughs> I think they'd crumble into dust if I tried to pick them up. Probably. Excuse. Thanks. That's musty in here. What exactly does that mean? What is must? I guess some sort of dusty... Dank... Smell? Dank. Um, damp. Must. You ask such stupid questions. Nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, what's in those bottles? Stop following. Stop copying what I'm gonna say, Grimoire. I'm not sure. Soil samples? Soil samples. Oh, maybe she's the one checking mud around. I assume she's the one that collected the samples. Sure. Why not build a science lab in the corner of the library? Well, I guess if you've got no space. The search for new knowledge. The archiving of old knowledge. It's downright poetic. I was just gonna say that. It's quite poetic. Sure. The way you Why describe. Not? Okay, okay, blah, blah, blah. blah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A chalkboard. Is this a library or a classroom? Okay. It's gonna be like a. a, 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 a puzzle. Oh man, I have no idea what all this mean. Uh, e, F, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. I suppose we... Any idea what this oh. means? Not a clue. Right, we... I'm not sure I learned anything from that. Might have to come back, maybe. Okay, how about this one? About birds. Birds! That's been left open. Looks like somebody was halfway through reading it. Or... Or... It was left open for us to find. Ah... Huh. Interesting. Unnerving? Quite. Ink Dip is a remarkably intelligent bird with a very long lifespan even among avian mystids. Other birds are often aggressive towards it, and the ink dip lives most of its life alone. It has particular feeding habits and usually only eats the seeds of the Antium Amica picture. I guess this one. Okay. Nothing else, I suppose, to find? Huh. Why does this look like a knife with blood on it? 
Okay. I guess let's talk to her. Curious. I would expect bacteria of that nature to thrive in these conditions. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Taking all the environmental factors into account, there must be something I am still missing. Uh, may Probably. I talk to you, miss? She knows we're here. She just doesn't care. I am a detective, and I need to talk... Correction. You do not need to talk to me. Oh, no? How come? Because I am not a suspect. I am completely innocent of any and all crimes. Thanks for letting me know. Speaking of which, you have now been at Tangle Tower for over 23 minutes. Surely you have already reached a sturdy hypothesis. A hypothesis? About the murder? Yeah, come on, Grimoire, hurry up. My apologies. Unfortunately, protocol dictates I must at least meet all the suspects. And that includes you. So, uh, could you tell me your name? Fifi Fellow, microbiologist, inventor, innovator. Fifi, okay. How is Fifi okay. linked to? Fiona Fellow, age. Oh, Fiona. Amateur microbiologist, likes the meaningful archiving of information, dislikes the superfluous window dressing accompanying the majority of human contact. <laughs> Note, kindly disregard the polysyllabic form of my given forename and refer to me instead as Fifi. How come you prefer Fifi? How come you prefer Grimoire? How are you related to the other fellows? Fitz is my cousin. His father, a man named Flint, was my uncle. Was? I do not know if Flint is alive or not. He left Tangle Tower a long time ago. And what about Freya? How are you related to her? We share exactly one grandparent. Okay. We can't wait. Oh. What? Oh man, I accidentally skipped. Uh, alright. Wait. Did I? You will need yeah. to be more specific. One's self cannot be summarized in a single response without doing one a great disservice. So true. Well, first of all, you're a fellow. So does that make you the daughter Correct. of- Correct. My father and mother are named Flora and Felix, but you need not question either of them. It will only waste valuable time. Neither of them are capable of murder. Thanks for the tip. Fifi, you said you were a micro... something or other? Microbiologist. But it is an insignificant label. My studies cannot be categorized in any one recognized field. What made you want to become a scientist in the first place? I harbor an intrinsic fascination with the microscopic. I constructed my first one at age 10. Constructed age 10? Correct. And what's that thing on your head? Did you make that too? My eyesight began to deteriorate when I turned 12. Not satisfied with the eyeglasses prescribed to me, I designed this custom lens instead. It automatically adjusts based on the surrounding light conditions. Does it glow red when you get angry? No. <laughs> but that would be most amusing. Did I just give you an idea? What can you tell me about the murder? What can you tell me about- Wait, that's what I'm supposed to ask you. Yes, however, you were too slow. You fancy yourself a detective too, Fifi. I just need to know what happened. Me too, so talk. Fine. I knew ahead of time that Freya was going to be busy with her painting all day, so I had planned to spend the afternoon with Poppy. I was in the library all morning preparing the equipment for an experiment, only to find out that Poppy had made other plans and she was in fact planning to ignore me completely. Oh. So what did you do instead? I locked myself in my room and cried. Oh, I'm oh. sorry to hear that. Why? I don't know, it just sounds kind of sad. It is not unusual. Oh. Good. Um. so she doesn't... I guess she's been treated badly all this time that it seems normal for her. Mm-hmm. Okay. I was in my room. The lights were off and the door was locked. Someone began banging on the door. I ignored it until the someone began shouting at me. I opened the door. Poppy came into my room. Her makeup was leaking. She told me Freya was dead. I did not believe it. 
Okay. I she was playing a trick on me, so I punched her in the face. Whoa. She insisted that we go up to Flora's tower. We left the room, and Poppy's father was waiting outside. He followed us upstairs. When I saw Freya lying on the floor, I was completely and utterly devastated. Then, I took a sample of the red paint on the unfinished painting. Poppy and I took the sample back downstairs to the library. We performed a test and found out that it was, in fact, blood. You performed that scientific test immediately, even though you were feeling so upset? Of course. Why would one affect the other? True, why would one affect the other? But I guess, I, I, yeah, I guess it's uh, sort of normal for her because it feels like her emotions are quite separate. Maybe because she... Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how to describe how I feel about her. Feel. Well, how I think about her. Eh? Never mind. I guess let's... There was something urgent, wasn't there? But... Oh, this is open now. Fifi's room. Okay. What's that big book on the desk? Looks like something Fifi's been writing. Is it a clue? I hope I'm not, not sure. <laughs> it's just a bunch of notes about her microbiology experiments. It's a magnifying glass. A big one. How come you don't have one of those? Why? Because I'm a detective? Should I start smoking a pipe too? You can pull off a pipe. Like yeah, I couldn't. A big one. Can oh, I no. It? Oh, wait. Oh, I see. This is a magnifying glass. This is a microscope. Uh, I'm not sure this is a microscope. Horizontally slide the four magnifying lenses to the correct positions. Correct positions? Plus, 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 minus, plus, plus, plus. Hmm? I guess this fits? Question mark. There's a big space there, so probably this. No. Um, oh, hang on. <gasps> I'm making a key? Um, this, 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 this. No. Wait, so how do I... Oh, I'm making this, I think. Ah, okay. Uh, I have to magnify this. Maybe I magnify this. Oh, 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 oh. All right. I think this might be it. Uh, wait. I can't magnify. I have to make this smaller, right? Okay, let me make, make that small. Hmm. That's a bit too much, I think. Hmm. Doesn't look like that would. Hmm. 
This way? This way. That's the one. This way. Nice. Sounds like it unlocked. Yeah. It's built on top of a little metal box. There's a book in here. Well used book resembling a diary is locked with a strange metal device. Can I open it then? No, I don't think so. Okay. Hmm, I wonder if I can uh get uh Fifi. Fifi's got something pinned up here. To tell me about uh to 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 tell me about the I guess combination or whatever that metal thingy is so that I could open a book. But then again, it's probably not a good idea since I'll be it's like a private thing, right? What is all this? Oh. Wait, why does this look like me? Is that supposed to be me? Why do I look so angry? That's just the face you make when you're thinking. <laughs> okay. It does make you wonder though, when did Fifi draw all this? When indeed, and why am I here? Oh, is this Sally? That's you, Sally. What? <laughs> I do not look like that. Do I? I don't know. Who is that? No idea. I think that's supposed to be Felix. And then this must be Fiona. That's gotta be Flora. Oh, I mean Flora. If he is Fiona. Who is that? Poppy? No idea. I haven't met them yet though. Who is that? No idea. Who's that? Not sure. Okay. Who is that? No idea. Right. Um question mark question mark. 335. There's no numbers here and no numbers here either. There's a question yeah. Hmm. Maybe the numbers aren't there's 53 here. I don't know. Who isn't on here? Uh. Freya? Mm hmm. And Fifi herself. Hmm. Crystal chandeliers. Extra fancy. I don't know. They just seem old fashioned to me. Plus, they're kind of dusty. Okay. That's a whole lot of books. That's a whole okay. lot of books. Boxes. Of stuff. Right. A new suspect. Grimoire, Grimoire. Don't think you can get out being questioned just because you're a bear. What are you doing? I'm innocent, I promise. <laughs> Save it for the judge. Okay, it's kind of funny that um, Sally actually joined in. It's a bed. Barely. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Wait, is this the music on the cassette tape? Are they paper lanterns? Whatever they are, I like them. It's like a little parade of floating spirits. Oh, whatever it is, it's playing a little trumpet. While well, it is the music room, he's got to practice. What's with <laughs> all the broken glass? Oh. Shiny statue of a strange creature. Wait, it's cracked down the middle too. Hmm. Okay. Ah, oh, whatever it is, it's ah oh, oh, right, 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 right. Glass. Okay, dokie. Who plays the violin? I wonder. 
it's pretty dusty. So maybe no one plays or played, but have left, have since left the area. I don't remember that person's so name. Nobody. There's a faded mural on the wall. When I was a kid, I never knew the difference between a mural and a mosaic. Um... I don't exactly know the difference either. I guess a mosaic is... Tiles? You still don't know, do you? No. <laughs> and a mural is like a painting on a wall? I'm not sure. One old wooden bookcase. Yep. Ah, ah, ah. 25 dry old books. Ah, ah, ah. Mm-hmm. Four lit candles. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe you don't know the reference, but I was doing count... Eh? What's his name? Count Dracula? The puppet? From, um... Sesame Street? Yeah. Am I the only one seeing the problem? Yes, I think you are. Oh, no. I don't think you are. Candles. On an old bookshelf. With dry books. It's just a fire hazard. Alright, you got your wish. Spooky murder mansion? Spooky murder mansion. Okay, let's talk to her. Oh. Are you a ghost? <laughs> That's rude! Unless she is a ghost. It may come as a disappointment, but I am alive. Ah. Uh, that makes you a suspect, I'm afraid. I know. What's your name? My name is Poppy. I'm a pointer. And a pianist. We'll need to ask you a few questions about Freya. I know. Hey. You're pretty good. All in the wrist. And 13 years of dedicated practice. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm just me. There's nothing to know. How are you related to the other pointers? My father is Percival Pointer. The professor spends most of his time hidden away in his tower. Barely speaks to anyone these days. Especially not the fellows. Do you get on with the fellows? Two of them. Fifi and Freya are my closest friends. We all turned 19 last year. Do people ever leave Tango Tower? I don't mean to be rude. It's just, if you're 19... You don't have to answer that, Poppy. It's a fair question. I'd like to move away. Definitely. Fifi, Freya, and I would often talk about it. Argue about it. Freya wanted to leave, but Fifi... Things are more complicated for her. What about now? After what happened, I really don't want to stay here much longer. Three and a half hours of piano practice. Soon as I wake up. Same as always. Three and a half? Does that not hurt your hands? Sure. And you do this in the music room? No, I prefer to practice in my room. When I make mistakes, I like to make them in private. What did you do after that? I was supposed to meet Fifi in the library, but I totally forgot. When I finally got down there, she'd already gone. I checked her bedroom, but it was locked. Was Fifi not in there? No idea. She keeps her door locked either way. So I went back upstairs and out into the moonlight garden. What? The little garden on the roof outside my room. Was it just you up there? No. Fitz came outside after a while. His room's on the other side. He's been teaching me about flowers. So, did you talk to him? Not really. You ignored each other. I didn't say that. Huh. Okay, so it wasn't it. It wasn't on purpose that she ignored um, Fifi. But I guess either way, it's possible that she's done it so much. I mean. Uh, we did see that Fifi is used to such a treatment and she often just goes into a room to cry 
Hmm. Fitz and I were up in the moonlight garden most of the afternoon. Then we heard this sound. It lasted about three seconds. I've been trying to decide how to describe it, but I'm struggling. It was like something drilling into a piece of metal, but different. Worse. I was pretty sure it was coming from Flora's tower, so we went up there to check. Her door was locked. Nobody was answering. I knew Freya and Flora were both supposed to be in there, so I made Fitz kick down the door. I went inside. Freya was lying on the floor. Flora was in the room too? Yeah. I think she realized what had happened at the same moment I did. I didn't know what to do. So I ran downstairs to get Fifi. Her door was still locked, but I knocked and shouted at her. Eventually, she let me in. The lights were off, but I could see she'd already been crying. I told her what had happened. She didn't believe me. She got angry. First time I've ever seen her angry. I dragged her out into the hall. My father was there too, for some reason. The three of us went back up to Flora's tower. Then Felix arrived. He had Penny with him. Fifi had this idea. She wanted to do some kind of scientific test. She took me down to the library. We were in there about 15 minutes. After she was done, she went back upstairs and I went back to my room. That's it? That's it. Okay. So far it does seem to line up with the other stories. I think. All right. Poppy's bedroom is unlocked. I wonder what's in there. Let's go now. <gasps> it's an octopus. No, it's not. It has six legs, not eight. And what does that tell you? Don't say it. Sextopus. <laughs> I see. A big glass door leads out into a garden. Somehow. There's a little mechanism by the handle. Oh, okay. Slide the lid open. Then move the towels into the correct slots. Slide. Oh, I see. Move the towels into the correct slots? Nothing. Still locked. All four tiles have a moon symbol. Those other symbols look like suns. Surely that's something to do with it? I think it is, but in an abstract kind of way. Abstract kind of way. Nope. It's Maybe the information we need isn't here. Where is it? Somewhere else. Okay. I guess we'll come back later. Yeah, we'll come back later. So now there's two puzzles that I have not known. Three. This one, the one in the pond, and the one that I couldn't figure out, the treasure map. It's thingy. a metronome for keeping time. It's oh, wow. Ticking. It's a bomb. It's supposed to be ticking. Not sure what those symbols are, though. Use the buttons to rotate all four metronome dials up to the hoop at the top. Ooh. Oh. Did that work? There we go. <laughs> well, that was, I guess, a lucky. Perfect. A lucky somehow floop, floop, flap. No wait, what's that term called? I don't know. But anyway, that was lucky. Little hatch unlocked in the back. Anything in there? Mm-hmm. It's a photograph. All Part right. Of a photograph. Oh.
The girl in the photo is using a bright pink cassette player with matching headphones. Right. So they... Maybe they aren't as... Close as they... Um... Appear to be. Like pretend to be. Because um... What's her name said that... The other two girls are her best friends, right? But this ripped photo... Kind of suggests that they aren't really good to each other maybe i don't know there's something about that pink cassette tape something suspicious let's ask poppy about it let's go now hello what's up suspe oh i unlocked it nice confirm something with you poppy Confirm away. What can you tell us about this cassette tape? Is it yours? Uh, it belongs to Freya. She liked to have music playing while she was painting, you know. And do you know what kind of music is on this tape? No idea. Acid jazz? It's piano music. It sounds an awful lot like your music, to be honest. Sure it doesn't belong to you? Why are we even talking about this? Cassette tapes have been redundant for a good few years now. The tape was found at the crime scene. It was in the gramophone. It's not mine. I never own anything like that. Why not? Not my color. Hmm, that's... You used to like these colors. You used to like these colors. <sighs> Ridiculous. We need a clue to compare with the cassette tape. Something that proves Poppy used to like these colors. Yes, I do have the clue. This one. Let's take a closer look at this. Okay. Um, I guess pink cassette tape. And this pink cassette tape. Uh, cassette tape? Cassette player. The pink cassette tape found at the crime scene. Matches... The pink cassette player... Uh... Used by Fifi in this old photo. The pink cassette tape found at the crime scene matches the pink cassette player used by Fifi in this old photo. Almost. Oh. Maybe just change one thing. Change one thing. One thing. Oh, wait, is it Fifi? The pink cassette tape found at the crime scene matches the pink cassette player used by Fifi in this old photo. Almost. No, it's not Fifi. It's by Poppy in this old photo. It's much larger. It's older version of... was replaced by... To Freya, the message on the tape found in the crime scene. Matches. The message on the tape found at the crime scene matches the pink cassette player used by Poppy in this old photo. Almost. No. Nope. Maybe just. It can't be was replaced by. Right. In cassette tape. A crack on the tape. Um. Was replaced by. Is 
Is it much larger though? <laughs> the hand gesture. The blonde goal. Doesn't fit though. Was replaced by the pink cassette player. By the blonde girl. The message on the tip was replaced by the blonde girl found at the crime scene. Was found in the. Is this change one thing though? So. Was replaced by the blonde girl used by Poppy in this old photo. The pink cassette tape was replaced by the pink cassette player that was found in Poppy's. Doesn't sound no. right. Yeah. The pink cassette tape found at the crime scene matches the pink cassette player that was found in Poppy's room. Almost. Oh wait, Poppy's room. Wrong one. The pink cassette tape found at the crime scene matches the pink cassette player. So that was the issue. I was using the wrong. Yep. Yeah, okay. That is not me. Yeah, it is. I'll prove it. Oh. Um, the other rip photo. Yep. You look a little different, but Fifi and Freya are pretty recognizable. It's clearly a photo of you with your two best friends. Why'd you tear it up and then hide it? I think the answer is pretty straightforward. <laughs> Might be this one. Poppy hates Fifi and Freya now. You sure about that? Not entirely. I think the answer is pretty straightforward. Oh, okay. It's probably this one then. Poppy doesn't want to look like that anymore. That's it. Makes this whole thing seem kind of irrelevant. Maybe. It depends on the reason. The reason she doesn't want to look like that anymore? The passage of time is a powerful thing. Hold on. This means that pink cassette tape does belong to you, Poppy. It used to. I recorded some piano music onto it and gave it to Freya as a gift. Years ago. Freya could have easily been listening to this tape at the exact moment she was killed. There's gotta be a connection between the tape, the gramophone, and the murder. There's one other thing I want to know. How did it get that crack down the middle? I have no idea. There's a crack here too, though. Oh, whatever it is, it's... Well, it is, the music's gotta practice. That's with all the broken glass. I wonder what's the broken glass indeed. Like, I can't collect any clues from here, I think. Hmm... I see. Guess let's check out the other places then.
Ooh. Check out that butterfly. Looks evil. Wow, judgmental. <laughs> They're bird cages, but the birds are coming and going freely. Is that a metaphor? Oh, it totally is. For what, though? I don't like mirrors. They steal your soul. How do you get your hair so symmetrical without using a mirror? I do it by weight. I can feel if one side is heavier than the other. Wow, okay. I, I guess that is a skill. Cage. An especially fancy cage. And it's home to three especially fancy birds. Okay. What's with those little windows down there? I think they're there for draining rainwater. Oh. My little writing desk. It's kind of cute. There's nothing written in the book, although someone's torn a page out of the middle. My little I guess desk. I can There's take a closer book, look. All right, let's talk to you. Hello. <laughs> What wow. is it? Huh? Sort of a delicate jade, but with a little sea foam green, is that right? Sorry? Your hair, dear! Which shade do you use? It's lovely! And that shape. You're really pushing the envelope. Oh, thanks. I do what I can to offset Grimoire's beige on brown ensemble. Detectives don't need to be brightly colored. We prefer to blend into the background. Well, your oh, hair is... Detective. Delightful. Penny Pointer, pleasure. Is that short for Penelope? Officially, yes, but I never can be bothered with all four syllables of it. Penelope sounds a little ostentatious coming out of the mouth, don't you think? Uh, sure. Coming yeah. from you, though. <laughs> 20 something Aquarius love to travel and nearly all of my friends are birds travel okay where to anywhere at all as long as it has species worth studying ornithology they call it I call it the only thing I've ever been good at and have you studied the birds here at Tangle Tower <laughs> but of course where else do you think I developed my love of the field no matter where I go, I always find myself coming home to Tangle Town. Because of the birds? Oh, no, because of him! Silly to admit, but I suppose I can't bear for us to be apart. Who are you talking about? Hmm? Oh, don't you know? My fiancé, dear Fitz. He's not really the traveling type, you see. Fitz fellow. The very one. You're engaged to a member of the Fellow family? That's interesting. Hmm. I'm not especially interested in whatever tedious feuding goes on between our two families. Fitz and I find it much easier to stay out of it altogether. Okay. So, this is... Wow. Very obvious. Okay, sorry. Give me a... Give me a sec. I need to... Uh, I forgot to do something, so... Give me a few seconds... Seconds? Minutes? Yep. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I forgot to close the doors to the rooms of my parents and siblings. So yeah, had to close them. I awoke early and headed down into the greenhouse to see Fitz. He's always there, crack of dawn, every morning like clockwork. How come? It's where he's happiest. That and he has a great deal of work to do every day: watering, pruning, mulching, whatever that is. Do you help him with the work in the greenhouse? Oh, no, no. <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> I'd probably break something. 
So, you stayed with Fitz the whole day? No. In the early afternoon, he went back inside. Rather suddenly, as it happens. Did he say why? He didn't. Probably just a touch of heat stroke, the poor dear. He's more delicate than you'd think. What did you do after that? Let's see. I returned to the aviary to feed my birds. And how many birds are you responsible for? Officially four. But in truth, it's more like 400. Can they not <laughs> feed themselves? Of course. And they often do. But I think they just like the company. As do I. Okay, you're kind of... Hmm, all right. Sometime in the evening, I left the aviary and headed back towards my room. But in the hall, I spotted Uncle Pointer heading down the stairs. He was muttering something. Seemed a bit upset, the poor dear. I followed him down, but the grand hall was empty by the time I got there. Empty aside from Detective Hawkshaw, who was loitering over by the library. I don't know what it was, but... She looked a little lost. I inquired about the professor, and she told me he'd gone up the fellow tower. I ran up the stairs, hoping to catch up with him, but Felix appeared and blocked my path. For some reason, he was coming out of Fitz's bedroom. He looked rather lost, too. I told him I was looking for Uncle. He suggested we look up in Flora's tower room. We could see from the hallway. The door was off its hinges. I knew then something was terribly wrong. A moment later, we were gazing down on the body of poor Freya. Uncle Pointer was there. Fitz, too. Standing over in the corner with Fifi and Poppy. What about Flora? Of course, silent as ever. Uncle suggested we should leave. Give the others some space, you know. So he and I both returned to our rooms in Pointer Tower. Huh, okay. We can get into Penny's room now. All right. Now, like right now? Right now. Wow. I like a room so far. That's some flower. There's something weird about it. It just feels out of place. Hmm. So it's also an unusual blue color. Looks like nature invited itself in. Rude. It's a birdhouse. Are those real birds? <laughs> They're wooden. The reactions on the birds. Using up all the perches. What if a real bird wanted to use it? Swap the positions of the seven birds. Nope. There must be some logic to how the birds are arranged. Something to do with those white lines. Mm -hmm. White lines. I'm look I'm basing it on the effect of the eyes. Maybe it's this way. Nothing. I think the birds are related to each other. Related. Maybe this and this. No, no, no. This makes a lighter green. But what about the other colors, though? Red, red, green, blue. Red, green, blue. Um, reset the puzzle. Hmm.
Wow, my brain isn't working. Well, I guess. <laughs> uh, I guess it's really not working at this time of the morning. Okay. Red. Green. Blue. Brown. Yellow. Um, if I put white here, I can make this kind of, right? And maybe brown and white to make yellow. Blue and red doesn't make white though, right? Wait, what does blue and red make? Oh man, I don't know my colors. Does blue and red make yellow? This RGB, right? Or does blue and green make yellow? I... Wait, then red and yellow should make brown? I guess that's wrong. It's a family tree. The colors and eyes combine as they go down the family line. You'll need to start with blue and yellow at the top. Oh, thank you. Combine? Okay. So blue and yellow makes green, I guess. And, uh... Red and green... Huh? I guess that's wrong. It's a family tree. You'll need to start with blue and yellow at the top. Um... Does this eye combine with this eye to make this? Maybe this combined with... Um... This? I got it. Yes, okay. Oof, that was hard. Did the door open? What's in there? Now I'll get her. Huh. That is very suspicious. Wait. Doesn't tell me anything more? Okay, guess it doesn't trigger. I, maybe we can ask her anyway. Looks recently used. One of the cups has tea in it. What's in the other one? Birdseed. Having tea with the birds. A little bedtime reading? Let's see. Romance novels, detective novels, and... Oh. What? This one appears to be both. Nice. That bed. It's like something from a fairy tale. Does it feel warm over here? Or is it just me? No, you're right. Maybe the bed has some kind of heater. It's not coming from the bed. It's coming from the wall. Huh. That bed. It's like... Does it feel... No, you're it's right. It's not coming from the bed. Traveling cases. Empty. All of them. Coming from the wall? Does it... Oh. No, you're it's right. not okay. coming from the bed. So I guess I can't... Mm. This is the fanciest room so far too fancy what does that mean i don't know let's check back with um 
Penny. Oh, I can't. That's oh, I can. Rather strange now, isn't it? We found it in your room. Just lying around, was it? Nope. <laughs> You'd hidden it, but we found it. We do that. Who's the her in the message? And what's the deal with the petals? It's really none of your business. We do want to know, though. I must say the girls are awfully well behaved today. I think they know we're in the presence of company. They belong to you. Why do you keep them in a cage? They need a special diet, particular treatment. I let them out to fly occasionally, of course. Uh, but they're all one of a kind. I, I, I couldn't let anything happen to them. Do they have names? Of course. Let me introduce you to Tabitha, Tamara, and Tatiana. I've already forgotten all three of those names. <laughs> which one is which? <laughs> oh, that's simple. Tatiana is the oldest, Tabitha is the most patient, and Tamara has the best sense of rhythm. Glad we cleared that up. What about the one on your head? On my head? He's just my hat. He doesn't have a name. Who would name their hat? That's a hat? <laughs> okay. Yes, it's my... Uh, uh, my flower. You don't like it? I'm no good at caring for plants. I forget to water them. Birds are much easier. They're a lot more vocal when they get thirsty. Do you at least like the look of the flower? The look? The colors? The shape of it? Between you and me, I think it's a little vulgar. Hmm, but why are you keeping it then? Okay. I doubt Freya intended it, but the overall effect is a little unsettling, don't you think? It's Flora that's the problem. She's an inescapably haunting presence, bless her. Hmm. Okay. We've got one last place to visit. Oh no, not really. There's two more that's locked. And then this two, I guess. You know, I've always wanted one of those. Really now? A mechanical solar system? What would you do with it? I would look at it. Wait a minute. Earth in the middle, sun on the outside. How old is this thing? Pretty old, I guess. Rotate the five planets, the sun and the moon around the middle. Around the middle. Am I supposed to? Around the middle. Oh, wait, there's lines here.
This way? Oh, I think I... Okay. Huh. Nothing. So there are two ways to move the shadows. Rotate the planets and rotate the sun and moon. Yes, I do know that. I feel like this is the right position though, because like I'm putting it between I can't move that. What does this do? Oh. Okay. Okay. Maybe the green... No, not really. Unless I do it this way. But if it's this way, it's opposite. Yeah, I don't think... How about this? Oh, this looks like it might... And then again. I think it's kind of the same. I guess that's I wrong. think you just need to get the shadows to line up with the shape on the base. Yeah, I do know that, but how do I get it to line up? Hmm. Maybe a bit more, but this looks too... Correct, but oh, maybe this way. <gasps> this way, yes. That's the one. Hey, not bad. Thank you. Did you hear that? Something unlocked. Indeed. There's a little hatch underneath. What's in there? A bunch of paper. Looks like somebody's research. Oh. Gold. Wait, does this look like a horn? Golden beetle named for its exoskeleton, composed of a mineral approximately 90% identical to gold. Has a lifespan of several years, fans of predators, predators with a loud hiss, and by being completely undigestible. This mistake has a somewhat superior, sp spur spurious reputation for causing ill fortune to those that see it. Huh. I wonder. It's full of tea, but it's gone cold. Criminal. Huh, it's tidier than my desk. Eh, okay. The book is untouched. It's completely blank. Or maybe it's using invisible ink. So, even the most well-used notebooks start off blank. 
is tidier than my desk. Oh, the notes? So, even the most well-used notebook. Yeah, it's too cloudy to see any stars right now. It's also daytime. <laughs> oh, yep. Uh, they're clearly gizmos. A spyglass to the stars. Volumes 1 to 12. They're in very good condition. So does that mean they've not been read? There's something kind of disappointing about this room. I just expected a bit more from an astronomy tower. Oh, does it not compare to all the other astronomy towers you've been to? <laughs> yes, Ready? that's a fair comment. All right, let's talk to you. Listen, do you hear them? The stars, they're whispering. So quiet, and yet so loud. What are they whispering about? Are they spreading rumors about us? I shouldn't think they concern themselves with such insignificance. We are but specks of dust, you and I. Mm-hmm. Could the speck of dust start by telling me his name? You find yourself standing in the astronomy tower of one Professor Percival Pointer. Hmm. Seems like this tower belongs to the Pointers. And the other one belongs to the fellows. Well observed, my dear. Tangle Tower is something of a duality, as it happens. Uh, meaningless boundaries, really. They exist only in our minds. Helpful. Okay. Me? Not much to say. Strictly speaking, I'm the current head of the Pointer family. And, of course, father to my precious poppy. And... A professional astronomer? Oh no, that's just a little hobby. I mean, yes, I've studied the stars for over 35 years, published 17 books. Just a little hobby. Sounds like you're quite well known. You must bring in a good amount of money. Oh dear me, no. My field of research has never yielded any kind of stable financial return. Nor would I expect it to. I am nothing but a humble interpreter for the cosmos, working to translate its message so that I may share it with the world. Cool. Tell the cosmos I say hi. <laughs> this... This game has such interesting characters. The day began as any other, with blissful, unremarkable routine. I took my usual morning walk around the gardens. Fresh air does wonders for the mind. Did you see anyone else? That is true. Penelope and Fitz were in the greenhouse together. I didn't bother them, of course. I sat for a while besides the pond in the garden. It's a favorite spot of mine. Eventually, I returned to my tower and buried myself in my studies for the afternoon. Did you use your telescope yesterday? Once the stars began to appear, naturally. For how long? I can't say. I've been known to lose hours at my telescope. Did you see anything? No actual discoveries, if that's what you mean. So you were all alone up in the astronomy tower. Must have been a while before you found out what had happened to Freya. Quite. Normally, I would be the last to find out about such a thing. But a curious tug of fate led me towards the fellow tower later that evening. What do you mean? All right, let's hear your statement. I was at my telescope for the majority of the evening. But at one point, I returned to my desk to look something up in a reference book. I couldn't find the book I wanted, so I figured Fiona must have borrowed it. I left my tower and headed down towards the Grand Hall. I spotted Detective Hawkshaw coming out of the library. She looked impatient and slightly frustrated. Same as ever, then? Quite. I passed her by and went upstairs to Fiona's room. The door was locked, but I could hear shouting coming from inside. I recognized Fiona's voice as well as the voice of my own daughter. I had no desire to invade their privacy by eavesdropping, so I waited for them to finish and come out into the hall. Before I could ask about the book, Poppy grabbed my hand and took me upstairs along with Fiona. It was apparent that both of them had already been crying about something. We went up to Flora's tower. Freya was laying on her back, right in the middle of the room. Flora and Fitz were already there. They both looked stoic as ever. Felix and Penny arrived shortly after we did, and then Fiona went downstairs with Poppy for some reason. I quickly decided that I should leave also. 
I took Penelope with me, and we both went back to our rooms in Pointer Tower. Why did you leave so quickly? Wasn't there anything you could have done to help? Don't take this the wrong way, but the whole ordeal is fellow family business. I I'm quite sure they don't need me getting in the way at a time like that. I suppose that is true. Hmm. And they didn't ask for help, so... Not sure staying around would, uh, do much. Oh, hang on. So, we found some research. What's up with this golden beetle? Is this something you're studying? I can't help you, I'm afraid. I think it must be something left behind by a previous inhabitant of Tangle Tower. I'm not <laughs> the first scientist to ever walk these halls, you know. Well, it wasn't so that's in the halls. your excuse. It was in your astronomy tower. Mm. Curious creature, isn't it? Some sort of amphibious bipedal fish man. Playing a trumpet. Playing a trumpet, yes. Well, now, that is most definitely none of my business. Quite possibly none of yours either. Interesting. Where on earth did you find that? It was in a bush outside. I think someone threw it away. How peculiar. Oh. <laughs> Is this important? Possibly. That's a very old book, isn't it? Looks like someone could have taken better care of it. I like the look of a well-read book. Better than one that's never been opened. Ah, well put. Can't gain access to this too yet. Who is this Detective Hawkshaw? Huh? That detective per the other detective person. Hmm. Oh, hello. Ah, the detective person. There's a metal plaque on the bench. Is there a message engraved on it? I think there was at one point, but someone scratched it off. Interesting. A pointless little stone tower. I don't know. Might be a good hiding place. Want to play hide and seek? <laughs> <laughs> okay. A little bridge leading back to the gardens. Right. More of that weird lake water. Really makes me wonder how this structure is supported. Yeah, are we on an island or what? Or what? Beats me. Yes, this is back to the house, and this is to the greenhouse. Looks like it might be about to fall apart. Grimoire, you go first. Is that a clock? If it is, it's a clock with four faces. I'm guessing it doesn't tell the time. Probably not. So what does it do? Until all four hands are in the correct position. Oh. What is the correct position, though? Hmm. Three... Oh, three, nine, two, six? Did I accidentally do it no. again? No. So okay. So moving any of the hands turns the adjacent hands in the opposite direction. It's like cogs on a machine. Hmm. Oh wait, this is twelve or two. It's twelve. Ah.
There we go. I think that's it. That's the one. Yep. Hey, not bad. Thank you very much. What's in the box? A little tool thing? Looks like a telescope, but I'm not actually sure what it is. Oh. Small brass tool with curved glass lens. It has a screw at the base. Hmm. Okay. Hello, let's talk to you. Well, nice cape. You're not fellows or pointers. I'm sure I shall immediately regret asking. But who are you and what is your business here? I'm Sally, and this is my sidekick, Grimoire. A uh, private detective, Grimoire. Really? You're so I am a sidekick. This is a joke, it's not a good one. <clears throat> who are you, anyway? Private Detective Hawkshaw. Oh, nice. Hawkshaw's a cooler name than Grimoire. Maybe I'll become her sidekick. You're <laughs> not on the Freya Fellow case, too, are you? That is classified information between myself and my client. Clearly, this is something which eludes you. But a real detective refrains from handing out information to persons unknown. Oh, right. Now, if you would, I have work to do. Huh. It's not in my interest to discuss personal details. Even if you're one of the suspects in a murder? <sighs> Very well. Let us make a small exception. Ask. Oh, what are you doing here? I'm on a case at the behest of my client. How long have you been at Tangle Tower? 133 hours. Uh, five and a half days. Who are you working for? I am not at liberty to answer that. Now, five and a half days is pretty long. More question. What crime are you- How'd you get that scar? It's cool. You really think so? Huh. As okay. it happens, I completed an examination of Flora's room on the morning before the murder. I've been investigating every single room at Tangle Tower. Hers is one of the last on my list. Did you find anything unusual? Nothing but a thin layer of dust and an atmosphere of somber melancholy. Was Flora in there at the time? She spent the duration of my search staring up at the sky, out the open window. Didn't say a word, although I'm told this is the expected behavior. What did you do after that? I spent the early evening searching the library. It took longer than it should have. Fiona leaves that room in a permanent state of disarray. Fiona was <laughs> in the library too? I expected her to make an appearance, but she did not. And you stayed in the library the rest of the day? Not quite. Towards the early evening, my examination of the library was unexpectedly disrupted. Sounds of running, wailing, shouting from several floors above. I vacated the library, but before I could begin my ascent, Professor Pointer appeared. He emerged from the Pointer staircase, crossed the hall, and begun up the fellow staircase. Our eyes met. He was breathless. Something had caused him great alarm. He told me to stay out of the way. I consented. I decided to return to my office in the Stone Square. As I was passing through the front door, Penelope called out from behind me. She was clutching the banister of the Pointer staircase with an apprehensive manner. She wished to know where Professor Pointer had gone. I told her what had transpired. Then, she too crossed the hall and disappeared up the fellow staircase. More so than at any moment prior, I felt like quite an intruder in the house. I took my leave, out towards the stone square. The grounds were silent. There were no signs of human life. Even the greenhouse was without its typical inhabitant. I noted that he, too, must be entangled in whatever was transpiring in Fellow Tower. An unremarkable hour passed before the gardener finally made his appearance. He spoke to me of what had occurred. His report was as clumsy and cumbersome as the man giving it. Did he seem upset? He was rattled. That much was clear. But sorrowful? Mournful? I cannot say. Huh. Okay. So she's here to investigate something else, but then the crime happened. Um, I guess I can ask you about this. It belongs to you, Hawkshaw? Correct. And, uh, what is it? It's my handheld microscope for up-close investigation work. What do you magnify with it? 
Trace particles, dust, oils, clothing fibers. Have you used it here at Tangle Tower? I have. I used it to examine the greenhouse only two days ago. What were you looking for? That is between myself and my client. Huh. Okay. Um... Maybe I ask about this. You consider that important evidence, do you? Okay, fine. I guess greenhouse is unlocked. Yeah, okay. Ooh. Oh, wow. That is scary. <laughs> Just standing there like that. Is that fruit? It's shaped like fruit. Too shiny to be fruit. I think it's glowing a little too. Safe to eat, do you think? No. I'm gonna say no. That's a handsome beetle. Looks like he might have magic powers. Maybe he does. Bags of soil. It's so blue. It's bigger in here than I thought it would be. Tools. Used by a gardener. Right. For gardening. Tools. Used okay, by okay. This one's in a little pot. Okay, that is definitely not edible. <laughs> Looks like a gemstone, don't you think? Oh, that is true. Bit of a decadent flooring choice for a greenhouse. Wait, mud. Wasn't there mud in, um, bush room? Oh, it doesn't show me. I didn't. That didn't become an evidence. Hmm. Oh man. Okay. A little chart of. Uh, actually, I have no idea what it's about. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Kinda reminds me of a periodic table. Yeah, true. Kinda reminds me okay. of a periodic table. What do you make of it? Not a whole lot. Maybe it's a clue for something else. I don't know what it it's is. Glass, but I can't see through it. Total oxymoron. I am not. Alright, let's let's talk to this creepy looking person. Wow, his eyes are glowing. We're being watched. Yeah, I see him. He's <laughs> a little too big to hide in the bushes. Is anyone going to say anything? Or shall we just stand around staring at each other? Right. Sorry. Sorry. That's better. I'm Sally. And the guy hiding behind me is Detective Grimoire. Who are you? Fitz Fellow, the gardener. Mm-hmm. And why are you so tall? I don't know. <laughs> why would they know? I mean, it's just part of... Is it part of genes? Or I guess environment as well? Maybe? Nutrition? You work here. As the gardener. I don't get paid to do it. It's just my area of interest. What's the deal with the plants? They're all kind of weird. Right. Did you see the lake? That giant green and purple lake surrounding the entire house? Yeah, I clocked it. The color is just a byproduct. Of what? Poison? It's not poisonous. Not to you. Uh, what's this got to do with the plants? The water controls all life. Just like anywhere else on the planet. Clouds form, rain falls. The water grows the plants, animals eat the plants. Anything you've perceived as an irregularity is simply a result of this hydrological cycle. Could you say that again, but like, condense it? As if you were talking to a slightly stupid person? <laughs> slightly stupid person. the unpredictable alteration of DNA. Oh. Sometimes. Alteration? Like mutation. That'd be the official term. For us, it's normal. Just nature. And you're the local expert on all this stuff? No. I'm just the gardener. 
I was in my greenhouse, watering and weeding. Sounds exciting. Was anyone else around? Not at first. Penelope came in a little later. She likes looking at the flowers, I think. Did you speak to each other? A little, not too much. We both left the greenhouse in the early afternoon. I went up to my room. Then I came back outside to weed the main gardens. Didn't see anyone else. After that, I went up to the garden outside my room. And? Let me guess. Watering and weeding. Right. Did anything happen to you yesterday, Fitz? I was up in the rooftop garden. It was quiet. And then, it wasn't. I can't describe it. Could have been a scream, but it didn't sound human. We thought it was coming from Flora's tower, so we went up there. We? Poppy was with me. Did I not mention that? Flora's room was locked. That's normal. She usually locks it from the inside. I knocked on the door and shouted. Nobody responded. We became concerned. You kicked the door down? I did. Poppy and I went in. Freya was right there, laying on her back. Flora was there too, but I barely noticed her at first. Poppy left the room for a while. When she came back, she had her father with her, and Fifi too. Penelope arrived shortly after that, with Felix in tow. I thought that was odd. You don't normally see the two of them together. Felix took charge. There was nothing else I could do to help. I wanted to go back to my room, but I realized nobody had told Detective Hawkshaw anything. I found her pacing back and forth around the stone square. When I approached her, she snapped at me. I think she was annoyed about being made to wait outside so long. But when I told her about Freya, she fell silent. Hmm, okay. Fitz's room is unlocked. It's up in the fellow tower. This could be interesting. Yep, yeah, let's go. Wow, that is very bare. That's all the statements. Okay. Let's go over them all. Um... Later. Let me check the room first. It's a little handmade card. Someone's drawn a heart on the front. Inside it says, To Fitz, from PP. <laughs> I guess this is... Penelope Pointer? An empty glass and an empty plate. Looking at it is making me want to cry. Why? I don't know. Oh, wow. What? It's a big empty space. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Neither of these lights have an actual light bulb. They're just decorative. Oh, so decorative. That poor plant. Looks pretty healthy to me. Healthy, but sad. I think it would rather be outside. Doesn't look soft. Hello. Not hidden very well, is it? Doesn't need to be. It's locked. Let's open it then. Okay. It's a lock. Sort of. Rearrange the pieces of paper to find a combination. Pieces of paper, huh? Doesn't look like it fit. Nor that. Oh wait, this does fit though. Maybe this? Oh, yeah, I think so. So... Huh. What? The rest don't have the um shape. Is there another shape in here?
Ooh. Kind of fits. It does. Yeah, this one. Uh, so that means there might be one more. I guess it's for that and we just need to find one more which is probably this one then this way that way okay and it's this one down no 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 this one I did it why do I win Nice. Anything in there? Yeah, it's wrapped in a cloth. Hold on. Huh. That's kind of ominous. Oh, it is ominous. I guess. Decorative pattern. PP and Fifi. PP and Fifi. PP and FF. Penelope and Fitz. Right, so they do. Mm -hmm. It's locked, but it leads outside. I thought we were halfway up a tower. We are. What's that thing by the handle? Right, I couldn't. Yeah. Oh. Oh. And then it's this one. It made a noise. I guess that was right. And the door's still locked. I still yeah. feel like we made some sort of progress. Okay, I need to go back to this one. And door. yep, yep, yep. And it's this, 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 this. If I remember right. Something happened. Yes. Nice. Whatever's on the other side. Let's go. Be worth it. And I think with this, I unlocked all the places that I could go. Wow, this is pretty. It's another little statue doing a really bad job of hiding in the bushes. He's playing a loot this time. He's also wearing headphones. Well, they're not part of the statue, and they're not headphones. They're earmuffs. Yeah, moths. Huh. Okay. Ah, a little water feature. It's making me sleepy. It is making me sleepy. Wonder how it's hooked up. Giant stone frog. Love it. Yeah, he's got his tongue out like he's catching snowflakes. Except those aren't snowflakes. They're feathers. This feathers look like the birds um, in uh, the ladies. There's something about those petals we found in Penny's room. Something suspicious. Let's ask her about it. Now? Later. That's one big dragonfly. Or one very small dragon. <laughs> I guess if it's you can bird, see it that way. Growing on a little patch of bluish soil. Apart from a couple of loose petals on one side, the whole thing looks very well cared for. The roses are bright red, too. Now, aren't roses normally that color? Exactly. A little pond. It looks really, really deep for some reason. See those metal bars around the edges, too? Oh, yeah. What are you supposed to have for? Prevent people from falling in? Nothing anymore. Looks like somebody broke them and then never bothered to fix it. Hmm. It's so relaxing. I might just stay here. Oh, shall I go finish the investigation on my own? Uh, 
That'd be great. <laughs> I guess Trees. I found on everything. A In a garden. Mm -hmm. In a garden. On a roof. Okay. Let's go ask, um, yeah, this lady. Uh, so, yeah, we found this. Oh, that, that's nothing. You wrote, now I'll get her, on a piece of paper and hid it in your room. That's not nothing. Actually, it's not the message I wanted to ask about. It's those red flower petals. The petals? They're from red roses. And there's only one place in Tango Tower with red roses. We need a clue. Something that shows the roses. And who they belong to. Who they belong to? Huh? Evidence of a red rose? What? This one? I don't think I have a... That's not right. Who they belong to? I mean, it is. We'll get to that later. That's not right. That's not right. That's not right. I have no clue. That almost makes sense but it's not right i feel like i don't have the um correct option actually that's not right that's not right uh <laughs> um That's not right. How do I escape the... Oh, no, 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 no. That's not right. Yeah, I don't think that I have a uh, clue That's for that. Right. So how do I get out of here? Or did I accidentally just lock myself? That's uh, not right. Maybe I should try everything That's then. That's not right. That's not right. That's not right. Brute force it, right? That's not right. 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 Man, I haven't That's saved right. either. That's not right. It's a drawing of Fitz oh. and Poppy in the rooftop oh. garden. See what Fitz is holding? <laughs> I can't imagine what you're getting at. But it doesn't matter. I couldn't have taken anything from the rooftop garden. It's only accessible from Fitz's room or Poppy's room. How could I have taken something from a garden to which I have no access? Is it really only accessible from those two bedrooms? For most people, it would be. But don't forget. Penny's the resident ornithologist. My dears, what are you accusing me of? We do have it, we do have it. Okay. Um was used to kill one of Penny's birds was used to spy on. Was it Poppy and Frizz? Uh, and 
distractor? Steal money, but it didn't work. One of Penny's birds was used to spy on Poppy and Fitz, but it didn't work. Almost. Maybe just change one thing. Is it Poppy and Fritz? Or is it Freya and Fitz? It's gotta be Poppy and Fitz. Change one thing. And distract them. These birds was used to spy on Poppy and Fitz and distract them. Almost. Maybe just oh. One of Penny's birds was used to spy on Poppy and Fitz and steal evidence from them. We know those two have been spending time together in the rooftop garden. I'm guessing you got paranoid. Wanted to know what they were up to. I'm just not the jealous type. I would never suspect Fitz of anything like that. Oh, right. Besides, Tabitha hardly ever leaves her cage. She's certainly never flown up to the rooftop garden. We need a clue to compare with Penny's birds. Something to prove one of them has been in the rooftop garden. We've got a feathers. Let's take a closer look at these. Um. The stuck to purple feather was left behind by. Purple and red bird when it visited the rooftop garden. This dark purple feather was left behind by Penny's purple and red bird when it visited the rooftop garden. Nope. Oh, or so maybe it's this one. This yellow feather yep. was left Got behind it. by Penny's yellow bird when it visited the rooftop garden. I what have you got to say for yourself? Two of them are hidden away up there in their private little garden. I couldn't risk spying on them myself, so I asked dear Tabitha to do it for me. I knew she'd be able to bring me back some evidence. Sorry, Penny, but are you not overreacting a little? You don't understand. Pitts is slipping away from me. He's so quiet with me these days. But being with Poppy seems to bring him out of his shell. I don't know what he sees in her miserable little... I apologize. This really isn't your burden to bear. Well, the victim isn't Poppy, so I guess it's not really an issue? Oh, what is this? And why is there a magnifying glass here? Oh, I guess it's this. Okay. Yes, let's go down here. Ah, I see. Suspect. Okay. Let's run through them all to see if anything doesn't add up. To see if yep. anyone's been lying. That too. Fitz and I were up in the moonlight garden most of the afternoon. Then we heard this sound. It lasted about three seconds. We thought it was coming from Flora's tower. So we went up there. Her door was locked. Nobody was answering. So I made Fitz kick down the door. Poppy and I went in. Freya was right there, laying on her back. I left my tower and headed down towards the Grand Hall. But... In the hall, I spotted Uncle Pointer heading down the stairs. I vacated the library, but before I could begin my ascent, Professor Pointer appeared. I didn't know what to do, so I ran downstairs to get Fifi. I heard someone heading down the stairs, just outside my room. Someone began banging on the door. I ignored it, until the someone began shouting at me. Eventually, she let me in. I spotted Detective Hawkshaw coming out of the library. He emerged from the pointer staircase. 
crossed the hall and begun up the fellow staircase. As I was passing through the front door, Penelope called out from behind me. I inquired about the professor, and she told me he'd gone up the fellow tower. I told her what had happened. She didn't believe me. She got angry. I thought she was playing a trick on me, so I punched her in the face. I recognized Fiona's voice, as well as the voice of my own daughter. We left the room, and Poppy's father was waiting outside. He followed us upstairs. I ran up the stairs, hoping to catch up with him, but Felix appeared and blocked my path. Back in the hallway, I bumped into a very concerned-looking Penelope. She was heading up Fellow Tower to find Professor Pointer. So I escorted her. Poppy left the room for a while. When she came back, she had her father with her, and Fifi, too. Felix and Penny arrived shortly after we did. A moment later, we were gazing down on the body of poor Freya. Then I took a sample of the red paint on the unfinished painting. She took me down to the library. We were in there about 15 minutes. I quickly decided that I should leave also. I took Penelope with me, and we both went back to our rooms in Pointer Tower. I wanted to go back to my room, but I realized nobody had told Detective Hawkshaw anything. An unremarkable hour passed before the gardener finally made his appearance. I think she was annoyed about being made to wait outside so long, but when I told her about Freya, she fell silent. That's disappointing. What is? All the statements line up with each other. They don't just line up. Some of them even seem to specifically confirm each other. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. I'm stumped. Okay, I need to... Oh, we should talk to Fifi. I see. Fifi is this one, right? And also, I think... Well... Is there a save? Oh, auto save is on. Uh, okay, I guess it's fine to leave it here. Um, uh, yeah, because it's I my brain isn't gonna work anymore. I don't think I should push it any further. <laughs> I probably can't. Uh, yeah, I probably can't solve anything at the moment. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna leave this here and uh pick it up next week. Uh, hopefully I'll finish the game next week because, yeah, I'm quite excited about the next game I'll be playing. Well, I was, yeah, I'm gonna just say that. I'm not gonna review what game yet because I'm not sure if I will be playing it. But, um, yeah. Uh, tomorrow I'll be playing, continuing Yakuza Kiwami 2 at 2 p.m. So if you're interested in that, you can come on over as well. But uh, if you just want to continue this uh, story, it will be next Friday. And um, yeah, I guess uh, I guess thank you for watching, thank you for looking, and uh, see you when I see you. Have a fantastic day.